welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a live reaction to Fairy Tale and Under Your Quest, Chapter 10, Diablos of the Killing Heart. I apologize for not being able to get this video out when the actual chapter drops. I just have so much going on, but I do try to get them out when I can, so thank you all for being so patient with me. Now, regarding last chapter, there's something that I really wanted to discuss with you guys. Um, so, to the just, just going into the poll. 60% of you thought it was 5 stars, which is great, it is the majority, but 40% of you thought that it was 2 stars, which is so, so interesting. And, like, I think I rated it a 5 star, so I'm not even gonna, like, argue or anything, I just really wanted to know why 2 stars. So if you voted 2 stars in the last, um, video, please, please, please comment down below, like, why and what you didn't like about it, because I'm super open to hearing opinions and... Overall, I just want to know what people aren't liking, what people are liking, just so I can keep an eye out for those things while I'm doing my reviews to see, like, how the actual chapters are doing. Because my opinion is one thing, but if I could get feedback from you guys and look out for those things in the chapters themselves, I feel like that would make <laughs> the review a little bit more well-rounded and and something that you guys would be more engaged in. So anyways, don't forget to participate in the poll that's in the top right hand corner. Again, five stars, one star, anything in between. Hopefully we can get more of a response with uh, this coming poll just because I'm super curious because this, it's starting to take off. We're already on chapter 10, so we don't really know how long this manga is going to be and if the ratings are going to be kind of off, like maybe this manga isn't going to do so well, you know? I'm just super curious about the whole thing. So, so anyways, with all that rambling out of the way, let's just jump into the actual review. So we start off with Wendy, and it looks like she's in the circus. There's, an, I don't think we've ever seen an elephant drawn in fairy tale at all, and I think it looks so cute. Oh, Natsu's a fuck. I didn't even see Natsu there, and I've been staring at the screen for a while. He's in the background, I think, upside down? Oh, what is going on? I th but anyways, I think the elephant's like really cute. <laughs> We've never seen anything like that. We finally got a new like cover thing, Sorcerer Weekly. Wow, that's cute. All right, so we left. We start off where we left off last chapter. You who taint my temple, <laughs> leave right now. So he still has some of his power, but I guess it's not going to be enough. He turned the water to ash. Okay. The water into ash. You are no longer the water god dragon. Not worthy of being eaten. Like, if that's a bad thing. Lord water dragon. You know, for a while there, I thought that she was actually going to be the lord water dragon and he was kind of like the fake protecting her. So I'm kind of wondering like what her abilities are because, I mean... You have a dragon slayer, well, a dragon there, you think that he didn't teach her any magic? Like, that'd be kind of dumb if he didn't. So I want to know what she's going to be able to do. Lucy, Wendy, take care of them on it. What will happen if ashes burn? <laughs> He's always talking about turning everything to ash, so like, what's the next step from there? Who knows, won't they become more ashy? Yeah, I guess so. Let's give it a try. Plus, I can use my flames here. Well, that's just unpleasant. Disappear as you turn into ash. Yeah, right. We got Urza. My attacks won't work. In that case, here's my prey. Freeze. Oh. Your opponent is me. So I guess we're all choosing. So Grey's gonna take on the guild master that uses the ash, which I mean, I guess would make the most sense because maybe he could freeze the ash in place rather than like striking it with a sword and trying to burn it like Natsu so his does make the most sense and Urza fighting um oh my god her name blanking on her name but the blade dragon makes sense too the sound of blades hitting each other it's making me quiver then my opponent is that guy best regards I like the character like personality it's just like he looks funny to me I don't know why I'll burn you. Fire Dragon's Sword Horn. It's one of my favorite attacks that he does, honestly. And he's blocked it. That's gotta hurt Natsu. <laughs> Go for it, Natsu. What heat? It won't work. Fire Dragon King's... Pr 
This must be an off translation. I tried looking for the official translation, don't get me wrong, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to say Fire Dragon King's Demolition Fist because I, I know that from Fairy Tale. So we'll just go with Demolition Fist. Oh, he hurt himself. Jesus! This, ah! I always feel like Natsu gets his ass handed to him like a lot of the time, but then he comes back like 10 times stronger. It just sucks seeing him like get hurt so much, you know? It won't work. How is that possible? The scales of the armored dragon will never know pain. You see that? A ship? <sighs> we all know where this is going. Nice shot. Shit, what strength. Ugh. Ugh, damn it, the ship swaying. It's over. Unfair, but how? You were Dragon Slayer too, yet. The older generation, you had a really you had really rough times, huh? So I guess they don't get motion sick, which is a complete disaster. Hmm. It is really funny though, because this is the first time that we've really seen Urza go against like a dragon slayer or a dragon. We did see her encounter Acnologia for a little bit, but this is the first time that she's been like face to face with like another dragon slayer. They've always resorted to not do Gajio Loxus of dealing with other dragon slayers, so this is pretty cool. That's it. Did she get her? Close. That was... That one was close. Mm. You, you're strong. For a sword to protect my... Your, for a sword that... That's to protect your friends. There's no room for weakness. Okay. Ads, ads, ads. Okay. Well, that's splendid. I do appreciate a battle of this caliber, but I'm not that kind of person. Well, nah, I do want to see this for myself. Huh. A shockwave? Wait a minute, what's- what- what is this outfit? Isn't this only a swimsuit? We were always in a swimsuit. Stop, don't look at me, it's embarrassing. What's wrong, Urza? She looks weird. Now let's continue. Help me, don't kill me. Jeez. <sighs> don't give me some kind of shit where she cut, like, her bravery or her strength or something like that because that's... I guess this is the first time that we'd be seeing Urza being, like, really scared, but... I'm betting you that it's gonna say something like she cut, like, her... Like, her bravery or something, I think. Or is this on what? Do you mean please help me, Kyria? Kyria, that's her name. Please help me, Kyria. I beg of you. Urza, I slayed it. Her strength. Her that's exactly what I said. <laughs> to be continued. Okay. Alright. What do I think of that chapter? See, I thought last chapter was pretty good too, but you guys rated it two stars, so I'm just wondering, like, what I could have been looking for in this chapter to make it, like, terrible. I don't... Okay. I don't think it was the greatest chapter of all time, but I don't really don't think it was that bad, because we're starting to get back into the swing of things with the action and everything like that, so I personally pretty much enjoyed it. I am going to give it, like, a 4.5, because it wasn't... There's just something about it that seems too plot. Like, it's it just too much towards the plot that it's kind of like... It seems like the plot's driving the fight rather than the fight driving the plot. You know what I mean? Like, that's, where I, that's what I'm getting from this. Like, the fight isn't helping to progress the plot. The plot is helping the fight to progress. And I, I personally don't like that in writing. And that happens all the time, so that's just my kind of thing. Um... But other than that, I really enjoyed it. I am curious to see that now that Urza is down, either the girl that was with um, the Water God Dragon or Lucy is going to have to fight. And I hope that Lucy's learned something or gained some kind of ability or actually puts up a pretty good fight. Because honestly, I think that's what this manga needs. Like, for Lucy to be stronger and more independent. I know a lot of people don't like Fairy Tail because they don't like Lucy. So if they fix that problem and they kind of just give her more leeway to become stronger, then that'd be great. Or we can just get this whole new character with badass magical powers that from that girl. 
that was with the water god dragon. Overall, like I said, I think it's a 4.5. Pretty good chapter. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section and the poll in the top right hand corner like I had mentioned. Please at least consider subscribing and if you do subscribe hit the notification bell down below because it's the only way you're going to be able to know when I upload. But if you don't want to subscribe I understand. Um, please 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 have a very safe October. I've been mentioning it throughout all of my October videos. It gets crazy. A lot of bad things happen in October just with the drinking and driving and accidents and everything and I just want to make sure that all of you guys are safe so please be careful and I will catch you guys in the next video.